focus, the focus, focus. everyone and welcome back to So Biased. My name is Melissa and I am a disabled YouTuber with chronic pain. If you are new here, I will link to my playlist about disability issues in costuming, which I highly recommend you watch. A lot of people who have chronic illness or disabilities or other issues that require a varying amount of energy, they're referred to as spoonies, which comes from something called the spoon theory, which I will link below. The spoon theory talks about how you often have to ration your energy, even some sometimes to do the simplest task. And as someone who deals with chronic pain, this has been a low spoon week for me. In fact, it's been a low spoon month. So I decided that I would make a project that would be relatively easy for me and one that I could wear while I'm recovering. And I was hugely inspired by the most beautiful 1930s and 40s pajamas. Up until the 1940s, the night dress kind of pajama was far more common for women and female presenting people. But with the Blitz, people had to evacuate sometimes in the middle of the night, sometimes on a moment's notice. And a lot of the women didn't feel comfortable going out in a dress. And so the two-piece pajamas started becoming very fashionable to wear at the time. And so I thought I would make a really comfy set of two-piece pajamas. That way I have some really comfy wide leg pants to lounge around in while I am recovering and doing other projects. The pattern I use for the pants I will link below as well as the pattern book from the Haslam system of dressmaking that I use. And also if you are a fellow Spoonie, this is your reminder that you do not always have to be productive and that just sitting around recovering is being productive. There's a great analogy I heard that if someone were dealing with your symptoms just for one day, they would call in sick from work. If they were dealing with your symptoms for five days, they would go to the hospital. But because you're dealing with it every single day, you're just expected to cope. So go take your meds, have a water, make yourself some tea, a comfy blanket and a floofy animal, or binge watch and call the midwife. You have my permission. But until then, let's get sewing. So I just got this package in the mail. It is my first subscription with Sew Haley Jane. And I just opened it up and I wanted everyone to see. It comes with a whole bunch of these fat quarters which are, I guess it's like a celestial theme because you have these moon and stars and all this. So you get five fat quarters, which are super cute. Get, looks like a belt buckle with silver and gold and copper. I'm going to have to make a belt. And then it also comes with a tailor's chalk, which is great because I always break mine. And then we have the stars and the moon stuff. Oh, oh my God, it's actually like, some of it's shiny. That is super cool. And then it comes with a pattern, a sweatshirt dress. Oh my God, that's really cute. That's cute. I may make this gigantic because who doesn't want an enormous sweatshirt? And then you have matching thread, which is cool. Nice dark blue, which goes with the sweatshirt stuff and some starburst. So I've decided what I can do with this fabric. I looked it up and it is actually cotton with like it's like 95% cotton with like 5% elastine or something, which is why it has that stretch. It's also a jersey knit, which is also why that ha it has that stretch. It doesn't feel like cotton though. It seems too soft. But I decided I'm gonna make pajamas out of it because what well, could be more perfect than stretchy jersey pajamas? Um, I'm going to draft my own top, but the pants I'm gonna make from my comfiest pants ever pattern, which did I remember to hang on to and not have to print out a entirely new piece of? Of course not. Uh, so I reprinted this, I'm gonna cut it out and I am going to cut out the pants, front and back and the waist belt for this guy as well as pockets because if there's anything we learned during the pandemic, it's the importance of pajama pants with pockets. So this is my first template for the front. Um, I did a deep v-neck, shock, I know. Um, and I decided to add, uh, Mina, I'm, I'm trying to film here. Are, are, you, are you making a nest? Could you just lie down? Right. 
So I added this little peplum at the bottom. I flared it out a fair bit. I figured I could take some off if it was too big, but that way it will get over my hips. Yes, I use wrapping paper for patterns because it has this lovely one inch by one inch grid on it and it's cheap and you can get it at the dollar store. So I did this and I'm gonna cut this out and I'm going to reuse the back piece from that the last pattern I did. And this does not have the peplum on it, but it is the back piece from the party dress that I made. So I already know that this fits me, so I am going to just cut this out, uh, but extend it out to add the peplum to the bottom, which should be a lot easier than redrafting the whole back. So the drafting is very similar to the last one. Take your shoulder, take your arm size, bust measurement, waist measurement, hip measurement and how far in between each. And I cut this into a deep V to where I wanted it, but I also left a little room in case I wanna make it smaller. So I'm gonna cut out two of these, two of those. So the two fronts together, two backs together, and then see where we are. All right, so this is the back. Unsurprisingly, because it is a jersey, it is curling, but not too badly. I'm actually kind of impressed. So we have the back two pieces sewn together at the center. If you've never dealt with knits, particularly stretch knits, you always want to sew them together with a zigzag stitch because they are going to stretch and a straight stitch will just rip. So with this, you can still actually stretch it and not worry about tearing open the seam. So always sew pieces together with a zigzag if you're dealing with a stretch fabric, particularly this, which is a four-way stretch. And this is the front, again, deep V and the little peplumy thing on the sides, a little bit of curling, but I can deal with that in the seam finishing. So I am going to sew front to back and try it on and then do some adjustments. I'll probably put some darts in to make it fit a little better, but first I wanna try it on and see how it looks. Oh, and then sleeves. Sleeves are coming. I can't believe it happened, but the shirt actually fit. And I don't know what came over me, but I decided to fell all the seams. So they look actually look really nice from the outside. And I just did a rolled hem around the neckline because the neckline was a good length. And I am going to probably do the seam around the bottom because it is curling something fierce. But I just want to make sure that it actually fits and goes to, well, it fits. I just want to check the length on it before I do a hem because I might need to trim it a little bit so it goes to the right place. But we now have a basic shirt and then I'm gonna make some little short sleeves for this and attach the sleeves but it's super cute i'm and it's soft and now we have a pair of pants well a partial pair of pants uh, you can see the pockets sewn on pretty simple front sewn together at the middle then back sewn together at the middle and then sewn together at the crotch and then attached pockets sewed together at the sides I also decided to fell again here I don't know why I've never felled a seam before but I thought because they're gonna be pajamas and if I'm gonna be sleeping on them I want them to be super super comfy and I don't want like the edges sitting open like that so I'll probably end up filling the rest of these and then I'm going to do a fit test there are darts in these but I don't know if I want them because pajamas and then the waist belt will go on and we'll figure out the final size of that and then I'll put some elastic inside the waist belt on this. That's one leg cuff so it's like 16 inches across. That's awesome. Okay so um, I'm gonna finish filling the seams and then fitting and then waist belt. The seams are all filled along the pants and I attached the waistband. I decided not to put an elastic in it cause I tend not to like those. So I cut the waistband a little bit smaller than my waist measurement just so it would fit a little bit snug. And then I sewed it to the pants that are a little bit bigger than my waist measurements. I did end up having to put the darts in can see here there's four darts one in each panel so I put those in and I sewed the waistband on with a French seam so that that way I'm not feeling the rough edge against my skin and I tried them on and they fit really nicely I still have the pockets which is great they're really long so I'm gonna have to do something of a cuff on them or just cut off the excess I haven't decided yet but yeah so those are the top of the pants. Right, and the next step is the arms. I cut out literally the most basic 
<laughs> pattern of all time. Um, I put a little extra length in it because I want it to be fairly baggy. Obviously, it's a short sleeve. I'm going to do the darts at the sleeve head again just so I get that nice kind of square shape that I really like. And I made it just the same length overall because it just goes over my bicep. It doesn't even go down to my elbow, so I don't need any shaping in it. And I'd like a lot of space because it's a pajama. So I am going to cut this out. I am going to sew them together and then I'm going to fit them to the sleeve heads. That's next. All right, the shirt is done. And did a rolled hem on the sleeves collar and on the bottom it's still a little curly because stretch fabric and I have that much thread left to hem the bottom of the pants so we're gonna play thread chicken and see if I lose so everything else is done I think just hemming the bottom of the pants and getting them at the right length so <laughs> fingers crossed that I win this game of thread chicken oh my god you will you will not believe this I won thread chicken with that much thread to spare. <laughs> That's it. That's the entire spool gone. I can't believe it. That's amazing. But I did finish up the pants. Because they were super long, I gave them this very wide cuff, which I was even able to tuck underneath and sew on both sides. So we have this nice big long cuff and they're still a huge wide leg pant and they are still nice and long on me. I will trim threads. Please ignore the hairy threads. But that is it. We are done. I may make a waist belt to make it more kind of vintagey. Pants. Also, glittery jammies. Who doesn't want glittery jammies? Well, that's it for the 1930s, 40s pajamas. They are so comfy. I'm literally wearing them right now because <laughs> they're just the comfiest things. I may end up adding an elastic to the waistband because after a few washes, it has stretched a little bit. So I anticipate I might need an elastic at a later date, but it's relatively easy. I can just split the side seam and feed it through and then sew it in. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Please feel free to share it with people you know, and please feel free to have a look at my disability playlists and my other playlists, including the World War II sewing challenge, which I'm already getting a ton of entries for, and the entries are with all my time in bed, I've been working on a new knitting project, which I hope to show you all fairly soon. I'm not a great knitter. If you are a fellow Spoonie, I would love to know what your self-care regimen is. When you're having a bad day, what do you do in order to recharge? For me, give me some British comedy or drama or a good fantasy novel and a fancy schmancy cup of tea and I will be happy. And a puppy. Yes, I know you're there and staring at me. If you are a fellow Spoonie, I am talking to you right now. Yes, you. You right there you. It is okay to relax. It is okay to rest. It is okay to recover. You have my permission to take care of your body. If you're not a Spoonie, you also get my permission to do the same. Make yourself a warm beverage. Watch your favorite TV show. We are living through some of the most difficult times that we have faced as a society and it is okay to feel like crap because this is a lot. That being said, if my uploads are not as frequent as they normally have been, please know that I am doing my best and some of that time is spent just recovering. But until then, stay happy and healthy, stay safe, take care of each other, take care of yourself, and see you all soon. Bye! I sewed it to the pants, which are a little bit bigger than my mate. That are than than words. I can't think of anything. My brain is just mush. And my camera is mush. As much as, oh. <laughs>